welcome back to my channel. So um, today I'm actually filming with a camera um, that my husband gifted me for my birthday. It's a Canon G7X. This is my first real fancy camera. So let me know if you can tell the difference in the videos. So I usually film on my iPhone. And so today I'm going to be doing um, favorites for the month of November. And also like favorites and not favorites. So products that I liked and products that I didn't like. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first things first, I'm drinking my tea. That is hot. Okay. All right. So first thing, let's start with the things that I didn't like because there are less things that I didn't like and more things that I did like. So first thing I didn't like was I tried the Lancome um, lengthening mascara. So this is like their, um, okay, why isn't this zoom, why isn't it zooming in? Focus. Why isn't it focusing? Okay, there you go. So it is, so I have to cover my face. Oh, right there. Okay. So it is their like most talked about mascara. It's one of the originals is what I call. Now, I did not like this mascara. Not because it didn't do what it said that it did. The formula is good. It does give you length it's not gonna curl your lashes. So if you're looking for curl and length, this is not it for you. This is only gonna give you very good length. What I didn't like about it was, the formula was good, but the brush is horrible. The wand is just, it's really harsh. The bristles that they use are really, really, really hard. So I wanna see if you guys can see that, yeah. Now, these br these bristles right here, okay? They guys, they are so hard. They they are like these sharp little plastic like sh sharp little knives. That's what they feel like. And so when you're putting on your mascara, it it scratches your eyes and it irritates them because you know you're gonna put on more than one coat, you know, hello, you're human. But I just feel like this mascara can really do so much if the brush was a bit softer, a bit user friendly, it's very stiff. The bristles are very short, very stiff and very sharp. So because of that, I will not be repurchasing this and this is what I, one of the products I didn't like in the month of November. Another product that I was absolutely shocked and floored that I didn't like was the Makeup Forever um, Makeup Quad. And this is um, a quad that came with the Fifty Shades of Grey um, gift set that came out, um, I think it was last year. Um, and the reason I didn't like them, not because the colors aren't absolutely gorgeous, okay? They are, they're, they're super pretty, right? Okay, I'm, I'm really upset that I didn't like this, but the reason was, um, the eyeshadows are very patchy. I have never come across eyeshadows so patchy in my entire life. And honestly, with the amount of product that you have to put to overcompensate the patchiness just to get an even surface of eyeshadow color, it's just not worth my time. Um, I definitely will not be purchasing Makeup Forever eyeshadows like ever again. Um, Next thing that I was also shocked I didn't like, so I went ahead and I tried MAC's uh, Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. Um, now, everybody raves about these uh, lip liners. I don't know if it was the color that I chose. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it was probably the color that I chose. Um, I chose Nothing Sexier. And let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like swatched on my skin 
Okay, I don't know if you can see that. No, maybe. Uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, my creepy eyeball just sticking out on the side. But yes, looks sort of okay swatched. But when you actually put this on, super chalky and very patchy. You will not get an even color with this lip liner no matter how many times you go over over it on the same spot. It is, I don't know, I am very shocked because I've used many of Max eye lip liners and I've never had this problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is the color that I chose that was the, you know, part of the patchiness. I don't think that this color, the way that they formulated this color was very off. I did not enjoy this at all. This was very difficult to wear. That was the only thing, I, the, those three things were the only things I did not like in the month of November. So moving on to uh, better things. One color I have absolutely loved um, in the month of November is Max Cream Sheen uh, Amongst the Fireflies Lipstick. Okay, it is this gorgeous, um, brown shade. I'm wearing it right now on my lips. It is a brown, but it has a lot of gray undertones. So let me just show you what this looks like swatched properly. It's, it's an absolutely just a gorgeous, gorgeous color for the fall. So, um, if you were interested in, you know, you've seen this color online, the only thing I can say is that this color looks a bit different online than when you wear it. For me, when I wear it, I feel like I get more of a gray outer, like I see more gray than I do brown. And that's what I really like about this color. That's what makes it different um, than all the other brown colors that there are during the fall season. Next thing we are gonna talk about is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Gingerbread Man by Too Faced. Okay, guys. If you saw my previous video of my fall makeup look, you will know that the obsession is real. Let me just show you this beautiful, beautiful um, liquid lipstick. It is, it smells like gingerbread cookies. I don't like gingerbread cookies, but I like the way this smells. Hmm. Let me swatch this on my hand. This, I just can't see this looking bad on any skin tone. I don't care how fair or dark you are. This will look good on anyone. Look at that. I mean, it is amazing. It is this beautiful burnt orange for the fall. I'm super sad that this is a limited edition. So when Christmas is gone, um, and we move into 2018, this is not a color that will be in their permanent collection, but I will be calling Too Faced and letting them know how I feel about this product. So if you are as obsessed with this as I am, I suggest that you do the same and we start a movement. All right, so next thing um, that I wanted to talk about. So besides the fact that I wasn't um, happy with Makeup Forever's eyeshadows, I do have to say, that I was very impressed with their liquid um, eyeliner. So it is a pen. Let me just show you that. It's a pen. And it just really, so easy to use. A flexible tip. So I wanna show you this. Like, if this camera can focus. Okay. So see as I'm pressing down, okay, let me just do it like this. Okay, so the tip has a very um, flexible point, okay? And because of that, it makes it extremely easy to um, glide on your eyes and dual wing liner. So I was very impressed with this by Makeup Forever. So I do have to give them props on that. Next thing 
I tried from Makeup Forever is their Lab Shine um, uh, lip gloss in D14. Now, this is extremely moisturizing, guys. Okay, extremely, extremely moisturizing. And it's super pretty. It is a pink, it's clear. Uh, it has a very, very light color. And the wand, I'm just gonna wait for it to focus there for a second. I think it's confused because I'm holding something. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So there you go. The wand is a little brush, okay? Now let me show you what this looks like swatched on my hand. Okay, it is a very light glossy uh, tone. I really did like that, thoroughly enjoyed that lip gloss. And uh, the other thing I like from Makeup Forever is their lipstick in N4. Now, I was actually super surprised at how hydrating um, their lipsticks are. Honestly, I would not wear this lipstick with a lip gloss. It'll be, it is just gonna be too much. So that's the lipstick um, swatched right there. It is a beautiful, um, very natural pink. Um, so it is very hydrating, so it looks very glossy when you put it on. So I would not pair this with any sort of lip gloss um, because just it's gonna be too much on your lips. Like the lipstick is already slippery because it's so, moisturizing i would not add a lip gloss on top of that it's just gonna be a mess it's probably gonna run everywhere um next thing um we're gonna talk about that i absolutely fell in love with was the beyond perfecting powder by clinique okay and uh, the reason why i ventured off to this is i follow um love shelby and uh she had been using this and she said it was very good and so I said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try it out. And I sure did. I reached pan on this. I loved it. My color is a seven cream camois. I feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. And so the way that this powder comes, it has two levels and on the bottom, you get like your sponge. Um, and then you have like the little tray and it gets little these little air things for it to dry or whatnot. Um, but uh, if you like Bare Minerals Pro Powder, you're gonna like this powder. The only difference I would have to say is that this powder, it takes a bit longer to reach full coverage or medium coverage. And um, the reason I say that uh, is because I use it with a brush and I also tried it with a sponge, as you can see. I believe that the powder is a bit more uh, sheer than the Bare Pro product i'm gonna go have to, i'm gonna have to say that it's a bit more sheer and so with that said it's gonna take you longer to get that um medium coverage but if you are the type of girl that you are just minimum coverage you like that light coverage you just want an even skin tone uh, just a quick pick-me-up then yes, you're gonna absolutely love that now It is a powder formula, but I have to say girls if you have uh, dry skin You don't have to worry about it. So this powder I have oily skin and it worked fabulous on me But if you have dry skin this powder is not drying It's actually it has a silk. It's like a silky formula when you're applying it um, and it doesn't over dry your skin. It actually feels very soothing and very soft when you're applying it to the skin So you really don't have to uh, worry about it drying out your skin um, Shelby um, The girl I follow on YouTube she has very dry skin and she uses it and she absolutely loves it So she's never had a problem with it moving on to the next product that I absolutely love is the um, the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Mineralizer Primer. You guys. Let, let me let the, the camera focus on this for a second. Is it going to focus? No. Okay, there you go. Um, this is amazing. Okay, I, I love everything from this line. I love everything from the tea tree line. This is an awesome primer. I have oily skin. This is thebomb.com. So let me just show you. It, 
I don't like the color of the primer, if that makes sense. It looks a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie to you. So it's a little tube, and then when you squeeze it on, okay, let me just show you the color of this because you're gonna like, eh. You're gonna, you are gonna totally have the same reaction I had when I when I first squeezed it onto my fingers. I was like, oh, hmm. It is a sort of like cream, weird. Let me get closer. It's, mm, it's like yellowish, guys, right there. There you go. It's yellowish and it's like, mm, but then when you spread it evenly on your skin, it is amazing. And of course it smells like tea tree, so you're gonna love that. And it dries super quickly. Oh, hi, I'm back, camera. Okay, great. It is going to dry extremely quickly. It's already dry. And honestly, my hand smells amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna take another sip of tea. Oh my gosh. There is nothing like green tea. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right. This um, I got at Ulta. Um, I actually picked it up because they were having one of those specials where if you buy one uh, body shop product, you get the second one 50% off. So I was like, hmm, let me go ahead and try it their primer since I love everything else from their line and it did not disappoint. So um, this is for like blemished skin. So if you have like acne prone skin, this is a very, very good primer for you. Moving on. The next thing I have thoroughly enjoyed in the month of November is the NARS Sin um, Blush. Guys, let me show you this. It is a beautiful, beautiful plum mauve blush. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm gonna try to swatch this on my skin right now and see if it shows. Because you know, blushes can be tricky. Okay, it is a beautiful plum. It has just a little bit of glitter. Um, not too much, so you're not gonna you're not gonna see the glitter on your skin. That's what I'm trying to say. It is beautiful. I absolutely love it. I have been wearing it. Um, I started wearing it in October. Okay, I haven't been able to put it down. A little bit goes a long way. You don't get kickback or like fallout. Um, so that's a huge pro uh, with press anything, any press powder that doesn't have fallout. Awesome. So. If you have been thinking about that, um, people are raving about it in YouTube. I decided to buy it for that reason and it did not disappoint. Next thing we're gonna go and talk about is the Chanel 268 palette. And so this palette, it, I used it in my fall makeup look. So if you wanna see what this looks like on, you can go ahead and check that video out. And so let me go ahead and show you the colors in this quad. I also have been using this for like two months. And obviously I've reached pan. I absolutely love it. Um, look at that red, guys. They're all matte shades. They're, all of them are matte shades. Um, this retails at $61. It is expensive. I'm not going to lie. Um, Although it is matte, these are not drying eyeshadows. They're also not as creamy as like Too Faced eyeshadows or Bare, Miller, Bare Mineral eyeshadows. Bare Minerals, I can't even speak. Bare Minerals eyeshadows that are matte. Um, I feel like those shadows are a lot creamier. This is not drying and it's not patchy. It's a very good formula, it's a baked formula, it's it's new. Chanel revamped all of their eyeshadow quads so they're not baked. And I, I have to say, for being my first Chanel quad that I've actually tried, it's amazing guys, I really like it. Um, so if you were thinking of just like splurging on something for yourself, um, I would go ahead and pick up this quad because it's so unique. It's um, not like anything I have. 
that red color is everything you can use it as a liner you can just use it by itself it just does it all i i absolutely fell in love with this quad this actually came out came out fall of 2016 and people went so crazy over it that they actually had to bring it back and add it to the permanent collection so definitely if you're thinking of splurging then go ahead and just pick this one up but in my personal opinion is this something that I would pick over any of my bare minerals or Too Faced shadows? No, like it does. They don't hold a candle to each other. If that makes sense, like this is a great eyeshadow, but I wouldn't consider it to be a better formula than bare minerals or Too Faced. I just think it's just a luxury product, and the colors are so unique. I can't find this anywhere else. Um, so that's the reason why I decided to splurge on this and try it out. Now, moving on, next thing I picked up while I picked up that quad was the Chanel 928 Arrows um, Eyeliner, okay? This is their red eyeliner that came out. It is limited edition, so you might want to check with your stores if they're still in stock. Um, because I know people went nuts over this and so um, some places did sell out But I would check on Chanel.com. So that right there Let me see that right there is the color. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful red eyeliner. It is waterproof It only comes in waterproof <laughs> And that was the only con I had about this eyeliner because I don't like to have to use makeup remover to take off my makeup that's just an extra step i don't want to add um and because i have oily skin so most makeup removers are oil based and so that just makes me feel disgusting and icky so anywho um if you like that eyeliner and they are sold out please do not worry because i i have recently discovered a color that came out from urban decay with the naked heat palette called alkaline it is the their 24-7 glide on um, eye pencil. And guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna swatch them next to each other so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, it's like a deep wine, but the colors aren't very far apart, if that makes sense. One's just a bit more um, purple and one's a bit more red but that's because i just really pounded it on there but honestly i feel like this is a really good dupe i have actually applied it on my eyes and um the only difference i can tell is that one's just a bit more plum now if you feel like this is not a good dupe for you what you can do is you don't even have to purchase that eyeliner at all you can use the red color in that quad and smudge it on your lash line, which I have also done. It's the same thing. So you don't even have to bother buying a whole different product. Another eyeliner that I'm absolutely obsessed with uh, during the fall was, um, these are both of the eyeliners that came out with the Naked Heat palette, and this one's Torch. Um, you, This is more of a burnt orange. This reminds me of the gingerbread melted gingerbread um liquid lipstick okay this is absolutely gorgeous look at that i love it i love it so they're very creamy they're easy to wear and they're not waterproof so that makes me happy okay so besides those two eyeliners next thing we're going to talk about is this is not a new product guys this has been out for a while but i've never tried it it is the bare minerals i don't know what happened guys i wish i could tell you the battery right now but it didn't no say no say why it stopped just stop filming me back to where i was bare minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Eye Gel Cream. This product has been out for a while. I have never used eye gel creams ever. Reason being is because 
I just don't know. It's just an extra step. I don't know. I don't feel like I really need it. But then, you know, everybody's like, you always should wear eye cream because, you know, the crow's feet. And then you feel like you're getting old. And I, I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to give this a try. So this had come out like this year with um, a skin longevity um, serum and then the eye gel cream. So I was like, perfect. This is my time to try it. And so I did. And let me just show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay. Um, it is a gel consistency. It is clear and it dries really quickly. Uh, I really like it. My my eyelids don't stay oily it's very refreshing on the lids um and i apply it like i dab it very gently like people do and i feel really stupid but that's okay it's my first time trying an eye gel cream i've been wearing this for a week and a half and i don't have crow's feet yet i don't have wrinkles on my eyelids or on my eyes so i just other than the fact that it feels soothing when I put it on, I can't tell you whether I notice a difference or not, you know, but will I keep using it? Yeah, because I guess it's like to prevent wrinkles, right? Like, I'm not sure how this like anti-aging thing works. So if you know the lowdown, can you let me know in the comments below? I would really appreciate it. So I really do like that. I like it because it's fast drying and it just literally dries up. You don't feel creamy and you don't feel oily. So very important for me. Next thing we're going to talk about is the Clarins uh, Kit Pour and Mattifying um, Cleanser thing. No, it's not a cleanser. It's like these blotting sheets. So let me just show you how cute this is. And I've only used it about twice. But. It's a bit more expensive, so honestly, guys, this is just like one of those like splurge, like one of these really cool things you just want to have in your purse because it's cool and you love the packaging, not necessarily because it's better than any other blotting sheets or blotting powder or oil absorbing powder out there. Um, let me just show you. So it comes in like this um, satin, like gold. Um, Casing it says Clarins and red on the bottom and then you have like the red label in the back but look It's got levels and so on the top you have your translucent oil uh, Preventing powder you have your little sponge here on the bottom to apply the powder and then here you have your blotting sheets how cool is that now the refills for those blotting sheets are pricey but like i said this is just like one of those things that you're just like i'm in love with the packaging it's a great product it does what it says that it does don't get me wrong it does really like mattify the t-zone and the blotting sheets are wonderful but like i said is it better than like max blotting sheets or you know any other brand i'm sorry but no <laughs> it's not i mean if you're gonna buy it it's a luxury product and you just want to have it because it's such a cool casing and you have everything in one that's what i like you have everything in one so you have your blotting sheets on the bottom your little sponge and your powder that's the reason to purchase this right here because it's all in one and it's all in a compact form. Toss this in your purse and you're good. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna take another sip of tea. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about my mug for a second. It's from Starbucks. It is their siren mug that came out last year for christmas and i absolutely i'm obsessed with it let me show you the back guys it has a star look at that bam okay so if you don't know one thing you should know about me is i have a slight obsession with mugs tumblers and water bottles it's an addiction i'm really trying to work on it if you happen to fall in that club please let me know so that i don't feel 
horrible. Like I just want to know that there's more of me out there. Some of you have these addictions too and I want to know about them because I want to feel better about myself. Okay, next thing that came out for the first time this year is the Bare Minerals Bare Minerals Body Dip Hydrating Body Cream. Got this um, on QVC, free shipping. You can actually go on QVC right now and get it because it's uh, free shipping and you like beauty and this falls under beauty. So I'm probably gonna discount a price on this and get free shipping. I know I did. Okay, so been using this for a total of three days. First of all, packaging is so pretty, but I was actually really shocked at how big <laughs> this lotion was. Okay, guys, are you ready? The, I mean, the box doesn't really look that big. It is a cube, right? No, no, no. Let me show you this cream. Look at the size. Look at the size of this. It's it's massive. It's massive. It's um 6.7 ounces, guys. 6.7 ounces. So this is formulated with mango, shea, shea butter, and um, jujoba oil, uh, along with kupu kupa. No wait, kupu cow. Kupu. Kupu cow butters. <laughs> and so it, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Ugh, I don't like the smell of mango. I'm not really a huge fan of the smell of mango either, but just calm down for a second. It doesn't smell like mangoes, okay? It does have a scent, it's a very light scent, um, but I fell in love with this cream. I literally have it sitting on my nightstand and I wear it every night before going to sleep. I wear it on my hands because my hands happen to be the driest part of my body. I don't know why. But it is so soothing. It dries quickly. doesn't leave your hands like oily. You know what I'm going to put this out there with? Uh, the L'Occitane um, hand creams. This is just as good as that cream. Now, the only thing is you're not going to you're not going to be able to toss this in your purse unless you have one of those massive tote bags, okay? This is huge and it weighs, okay? There's a lot of product in here. So, no. It's has It doesn't have a fruity smell. Do you know what it smells like to me? It smells like a spa. It smells like they're like an essential oil. I don't smell the mango I'm sorry so don't be afraid to purchase this this is such a good buy I mean I'm so excited that bare minerals has ventured off to body lotion okay love this so that's that um, next thing we are gonna talk about that I absolutely love during this month real techniques took out forget about the sponge here okay we're not talking about the sponge we're talking about the casein, guys. The casein, okay? The color, it's orange. We're gonna get over that because I really don't like the color orange. But we're gonna get over this neon orange packaging. The sponge comes in a package. Finally, finally. Guys, I hate having these sponges in my makeup bag. They get all dirty. It's just like, gooiness everywhere i i don't like it it's not cleanly it's not it's just mm, a lot of bacteria and so i always thought to myself why didn't these things come with cases finally thank you real techniques a case and let me just show you it pops open and then you got your little sponge and then when you wet it and you clean it and you're done with it you pop it back in and you just close it back up. Here's my only con. Um, this doesn't have any sort of, um, oh, never mind. There's no con. It does have a ventilation system. <laughs> the RT, oh, let me see if you can see it. The RT is actually a hole and on each side. So, so it allows your sponge to dry. Awesome. Okay. That's 
the next thing. I got that at Ulta, by the way. Last and final thing that we are gonna go over today, looking around, making sure I'm not missing anything, is QVC um, had a special where ben Bare Minerals got four of their best-selling Gen Nude lipsticks, and they are featuring them for like 34 bucks. Free shipping because it's Black Friday. But you know, there's Cyber Monday, so you still have time. Um, I believe that it's also gonna extend past uh, Cyber Monday because I got this way before uh, Black Friday and that special's still going on, so I feel like you still got time. Uh, free shipping, I think, is only last to like Monday. But I would wait because they do a lot of free shipping now for the holidays. But you get four Gen Nude lipsticks for $34. And that is way, way less than what you would spend buying these separately. So the first color we're going to go, I'm going to show you, is Baby. Beautiful Nude Pink. We're going to do swatches very creamy hydrating yet pigmented and so if you've always wondered about the bare minerals gen nude line then this is a good way to start you're getting a, all like the their best nude shades so what i mean it's perfect next one is nudist this is more of a, a warmer nude. Let me swatch that on here. And so I like them because even though they're hydrating, they have a lot of pigment to them. I, I have to say, I, I, I'm very, I really do, I fell in love with the um, Gen, Gen Nude line when it came out. Um, it's just, it's so expensive to buy every color. I'm trying to get this to focus, why won't it focus? Ah. There you go. It's like a warmer, you know, tone. Next is Karma. Ah, I have to say they're super creative with all the names they chose for the Gen Nude line. I, I cannot complain. This is more of a peachy nude color. Okay. Mm, why isn't it? There you go. Okay, let me just swatch this. Boom. And so you can see, let me just close this up. You can see that this is more peach than baby. Baby's a bit more pink. So next one, because you get four, is honey bun. And so honey bun. Oh, and the closing on this stuff is magnetic. Not so much my, is it? Let me see. Okay, it feels magnetic. It's not magnetic. It has like these little like ridges, but it does feel magnetic. The casing is all metal, so I love that. Now, this is more of a mauve um, tone here. Uh, this has to be my favorite color out of the four. Look at that. Bam. That looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. I absolutely am in love with this color here. So you can see that they are creamy, but yet there's a lot of pigment um, to them. And I feel that the four colors that they chose, I can understand why these are like their four top sold colors is because they are the most versatile. You Anybody with any skin tone can wear these colors. So you get four of them for like 34 bucks. Just go on the QVC, like download the QVC app, and order it through QVC, guys. That's, that is my recommendation to you. QVC has the best specials for the holidays on Tarte Cosmetics, on Bare Minerals, on It Cosmetics. So if you like those brands, run along and place your order. Um, the only con with them is they take a little bit to like ship, actually ship your products. That's the only thing I have to say. Mm, they take a little bit. So be patient. All right, well then, thank you for like bearing through this video with me as I'm just starting to get the hang of using this new camera. I uh, promise I will be better at the whole zooming. I'm not really understanding that portion, like why it doesn't focus 
properly and I have to have like the creepy eye, you know what I mean, on the side when I'm trying to show you guys things. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, I hope you have have had a lovely Thanksgiving and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.